All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, back out on the big water, chasing big panfish and anything else that bites. It's going to be a good day because it's going to be like 50 today. And I brought Lance with me. <laughs> Angler X will be linked below. Uh, been fishing his area, so I figured I'd bring him to my area. Let him see what it's like to catch some of these giant seeds. If you guys have been watching the other videos, we caught, uh, I got some decent crappie. Hopefully we get some of those today, but then uh, the jumbo seeds are coming in. So we're chasing tens today. This one. Okay, same arsenal as last time. A little bit black bug and then uh, got the pink bow spoon. Suspended fish. Yep. Yep. First little seed. If you want eaters, like I won't I won't feel bad if you keep a thousand of these. <laughs> Yeah, you can keep as many of those as you want. There's there's an endless supply of these. Well, that guy might be on me. Oh, I gotta remember not to set the hook like that. I think that's the hardest adjustment out here, is knowing that those fish can have like, you know, like a three inch mouth. Get off there. <laughs> I get eight and a half inch bluegill. These guys, uh, I don't know what it is, but they, when they come in, like on this thing even, they'll just appear at like four feet down. Yeah. So it's like they're cruising above all the weeds. I'll take that as my first big one, though. I think he might have dropped it, but I'm not sure. Got whatever it is. Yep. He must have hit it pretty hard too. Yeah. Oh, that's a 12. Maybe 11. They get a lot bigger. <laughs> oh, there's a whole school of them that went through. Lance. They're over here. Go, I would go in one of those. <laughs> there's like 10 or 12 of them cruising around in here. Yeah, never mind, there's like 20, 30 of them. <laughs> oh. Okay, blew that hook set. No, nope. go back down. Oh, that wasn't a, wasn't a crappie. <laughs> There's no way that's all, it's probably just a uh, the one northern that was coming through here. <laughs> that looked like the little one. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Getting a little bigger. Yeah. About a nine. Maybe eight and a half. Okay, I'm not keeping fish yet, but I might soon. <laughs> There's some really big fish around. Cool. 
Now Lance just needs to get one of these. <laughs> Oh, that's what they are. Oh. Gills. Not bad. Still missed my two pounders. <laughs> that was something really big. Dang. Oh, there's something else too. This guy's moving slow. That's either a seed or a gill. It's just the just the way they are. It's a big male. It's a nine inch male. They're just skinny. They lost their shoulders years ago. of little buggers. That feels good. That's a decent bluegill. They start collecting food. It's a female. <laughs> we'll wait till later. There we go. You moved at the wrong time. <laughs> Lance, right here. I'm telling you, there's like an edge and an edge and there's a pocket. That's why, look, that's why you got that one out of here. They keep, they keep doing this. What, I, I figured it out now. So they're leaving one clump and they fly across and they go into the other one and they sit there and then they fly across the, like like this guy's right here. He just came out of the weeds. There's like 10, 15 more down there. My favorite thing about this is it's light enough that when they hit it, like it's big enough that they think they have to suck on it really hard, but it's it's so light that it just goes flying to the back of their mouth. Yeah, I think that's actually almost as light as this, and I don't know how they did that unless it's hollow. Yeah. 
Yeah, these guys, these guys have like just enough meat on them, and it's that's a female, so it's real. Like you keep as many of these as you want to. It's never gonna run out of those. A seven and a half ish, or an eight. Well, it's an eight. I always appreciate it when they hit it without bait. <laughs> it makes life a lot easier. This is a decent male bluegill. Of course I didn't have the <laughs> I didn't have the GoPro running again. If it is a crappie, it's uh no. That's a a bass. Not anymore. Yeah, it might be a mix. See how he's got bars? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Those orange spots. I mean, it can still be a full seed because, I mean, he's got everything and they just have that dark top because of the sure. where they live and stuff, but... Got another big fish. <laughs> this is this is on a rod that it can handle. <laughs> what is that? A largy? Crappy. No, that's a largy. <laughs> You're just not used to how light they are. <laughs> He's lucky I don't eat bass. <laughs> Cause that's there it's 14. Five at 14. That's why I switched that rod. <laughs> it's funny as those big fish are coming from your direction. Oh, that's a big seed. Come back. That's a big bluegill. <laughs> There's a bunch of them over here. Nice male. These guys go back. Oh, that's a ton of them. This guy ate the whole thing, probably. That's a big seed. <laughs> there was a bigger one down there.
can I see it? <laughs> They're so hard to hold on to. They're so muscular. Ah. <laughs> Let's yeah, get. They're just stick. They're just built. Yeah. They're they're coming in. Still no bait. Big old monster. Okay, time to introduce Lance to the golden type of bait. Time to catch some fish now. <laughs> Big one gonna get it? Big one got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's a 10 inch seat. Oh, I can't even hold them. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to need a photo with this kid. Oh, he might only be nine. Yeah. Yeah, those are the genetics I like to keep around. Yep. Super tall. Get a photo and let this thing go. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. I get a close up. So, you know, frame him so he's centered. All right, so I bring Lance out to come slay some giant pumpkin seeds and I, I can't help it, I'm good at catching them. <laughs> uh, he has the secret lure. You could come over here and fish this, you know. So, right, keep going, keep going, keep going, and there's where he hit it. Oh, nice. <laughs> and that's where all my bigger ones yeah, come up to. Up. Well, hopefully he can get some. He's going to have a video of the day, too. He's got a couple good fish today. Actually, you got some. I think you got the biggest fish of the day, right? Oh, the best, maybe? Oh, the crappie. Oh, the crappie. Yeah, so he's got the biggest fish of the day, so you guys got to go watch that video. Uh, I'm content. I got my giant. The thing is, is that thing was only nine inches long, and a lot of people like to measure their fish uh, when it comes to like gills and pumpkin seeds and crappies and stuff like that. I'm all about weight and size, and that thing was super tall. Yeah. He can vouch for it. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was a heavy fish. Couldn't even hardly hang on to it. So. Yeah, I have little hands, so it makes it look even bigger than it was. But it, it, that was a big fish. So I'm gonna let Lance try and catch a couple here and uh, get things wrapped up. But Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's little video together. Like I said, all his stuff will be linked below. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll get out one more time. Uh, he's still got good ice on the Mississippi. So if you guys want me to do that, comment below if we want uh, want us to get together out on the Mississippi again. But Thank you, Dave. Yeah, no problem, Lance. I'll bring you out of here again. We can come out in the boat too and do that, except you get a hundred of those. It's a lot easier. Trust me, it's a lot easier. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you guys are new here, subscribe if you're not new thumbs up later